From the ribbon under the Auto Sign tab, click on the Library Manager icon. From the list of libraries, select an appropriate library. Click Install and wait a few moments. The library is being downloaded. Close the window and once again open the Library Manager. Select the library you want to use and confirm with OK. Click on the traffic sign icon. The library of traffic signs appears on the left side. Select an appropriate group from the drop-down menu and select one traffic sign. In the drawing, select an insertion point and position. Press Enter twice. To continue with designing traffic signs, select an appropriate group and a traffic sign from it. Each sign can be attached to alignment. If the alignment is selected, traffic signs will get the station label assigned. At the input of an individual traffic sign, besides the position, rotation and size of the traffic sign can be determined. The direction of the traffic sign is also taken into account. You can insert a report of traffic signs in the drawing. Click on the icon Report, check Traffic Sign, Report and all signaling elements, define table style and confirm with OK. In the drawing, define an insertion point. All traffic signs with appropriate data, so dimension, height, post height, shim and station are listed in the table. To define longitudinal markings, click on line marking icon. This function draws road-specific longitudinal labels on selected alignments, polylines or lines. In the longitudinal labels window, you can define label type, start and end station, width, length, offset, marking label and color. Select a polyline in the drawing, define the parameters and confirm with OK. To insert cross labels into drawing, click on cross marking icon. Define label type, width, length and color. Specify the insertion points. The number and position of the boundary points are always depicted in the images of the dialog box. To insert a gantry, click on the gantry icon. In dialog box, define its parameters and confirm with OK. Define an insertion point and rotate it to find an appropriate, appropriate location. You can edit elements with the Edit icon. Select an element in the drawing, change width value, define another color and confirm with OK. You can edit any element in the drawing, traffic sign, gantry, cross markings, longitudinal markings, etc. It is also possible to move traffic signs to another location. It's possible to label longitudinal or cross markings in the drawing with label number 1, 2, 3 or any other. And it's also possible to copy existing traffic signs in the drawing. Select copy icon, click the traffic sign you want to copy and copy it to another location. 